It is a tragedy. I think it's a horrific thing that's being done where you are feeding billions and billions of dollars from Germany primarily and other countries, but primarily from Germany into the coffers of Russia. The sanctions on the Nord Stream 2 project are included in a wide-ranging U.S. defense spending bill. The sanctions target companies involved in the almost 10 billion euro project to double the pipeline capacity carrying Russian natural gas to Europe's leading economy, Germany. Now Biden's team has already spoken out against the project, saying President Biden will seek to strengthen Europe's energy independence, but he will continue to impose or oppose Nord Stream 2 as a fundamentally bad deal for Europe. What would these sanctions be? Could, could they be enough to, to block the now nearly completed Russian pipeline? Well, that's certainly the hope of, of uh, members of Congress on both sides of the aisle on Capitol Hill. Uh, they've really sort of mounted an all-out offensive over the last few weeks. Taking action that will prevent it from ever becoming operational. I think if President Putin moves on Ukraine, our expectation is that the pipeline will be suspended. If, uh, if Russia invades, uh, that means tanks or troops crossing the, uh, the, the border of Ukraine uh, again, then uh, there, will be, uh, we, there will be no longer a Nord Stream 2. We, we will bring an end to it. Authorities are investigating whether sabotage is the cause of leaks in the Nord Stream gas pipelines connecting Russia to Europe. Scientists recorded explosions in the Baltic Sea before detecting three simultaneous leaks. The Russian gas lines are essential. They supply 35% of gas from Russia into Europe. Um, this is also a tremendous opportunity. It's a tremendous opportunity to, once and for all, remove the dependence on Russian energy and thus to take away from uh, Vladimir Putin the weaponization of energy as a means of advancing uh, his uh, imperial designs.